multi-unit abutment closed tray technique using the indirect transfer coping. Remove the provisional restoration and confirm that the abutment platforms are free of any debris or soft tissue. Tighten the multi-unit abutments or abutment screws to 30 newton centimeters using a calibrated torque wrench and the appropriate driver. Place the multi-unit indirect transfer copings onto the multi-unit abutments and hand tighten. Lock out the hex holes using a material of choice. Syringe medium or heavy body material around the indirect copings. Load the impression tray with material and make the impression. Once the impression material has set, remove the tray. The indirect copings will remain in the mouth. Remove the indirect copings Replace the provisional restoration. Torque the prosthetic screws to 15 newton centimeters. Attach the multi-unit abutment replicas to the indirect copings and insert the assemblies into the impression. Send the impression to the lab. Verify that the copings and replicas are properly assembled. Syringe soft tissue material around the multi-unit replicas. Fabricate a working model using minimal expansion high hardness die stone. Articulate the model according to normal laboratory procedures. <laughs>